Hi everyone, welcome to Aesthetic Next Virtual. Um, my name is Kelsey and I'm going to take you through a demo of Aesthetic Record today. You will have a Q&A box so you can send in any questions that you may have as we go through the demo, um, but let's get started. So there are two different platforms to Aesthetic Record. One is what we call the Control Center, which is accessible on any web browser like Google Chrome or Safari. And in the Control Center is where you'll do a lot of things on the back end of the business. So like your internal appointment scheduling, your inventory management, generating reports, and things like that. And the other platform is the Aesthetic Record app, which is downloadable on any iOS device like your iPhone or your iPad. And this is where we do all of our charting and taking payment. Uh, providers will spend most of your time in the Aesthetic Record app. So I'll take you through some of the key features of both of the different platforms. One feature that we have here is appointments and scheduling. Um, online booking is very customizable. You have the backbones of how the online booking works and you can tailor it all to your practice. Um, but let's just pretend that you have a service that's called Botox New Patient. You can tie in your medical history, your Botox consent, your Botox pre and post, et cetera. And what that looks like is anytime that someone books that Botox new patient on your schedule, the system is going to automatically send all of that documentation out to the patient's portal. That way they can complete all of their forms prior to even coming in for their appointment. It also help you stay contact free in this COVID world that we're living in today. And on top of that, it's also going to send out an email and a text message in the form of a booking confirmation and as many appointment reminders as you want to send out. Inventory. Now, I don't know if you know, but we have one of the most robust inventory management systems on the market today. So we're tracking anything as far as your retail products to your medical supplies, to your service offerings you can generate inventory reconciliation logs and you can automate your purchase orders as well. So as soon as you hit a low stock alert, it'll automatically send a PO to your rep. And as soon as it hits your doorstep, all you have to do is accept it and it goes right back into your inventory. Now, anything that has a lot number or an expiration date tied to it, you can plug all of that into your inventory as well. Um, you'll be tracking all of your stock through the app. So every time that you're logging a procedure or a treatment or an encounter, you're always going to have an up-to-date stock allotment. And then you'll also be notified anytime that something has expired or has hit a low stock. Telehealth and electronic prescribing. One of my favorite features about our telehealth is that everything inside of the meeting is transcribed. And once the meeting is over, it will leave the whole entire conversation, even deciphering between speaker one and speaker two as a note in the patient's chart. And now I'm going to share my iPad screen with you and we can walk through what charting looks like. So you should be able to see my iPad screen now. Um, my favorite patient, Jamie Jacobs, we're in her profile in the app, and we can see all of her procedures here are logged in chronological order. Um, but let's just pretend that Jamie is coming in to see us for some Botox today. So as a provider, the first thing that we're doing is simply just kicking off the procedure. Um, we're just going through the motions here. So we're gonna select the body part that we're treating, and then we're gonna tie in the appointment that Jamie is in for. And then any sort of questions or consent forms that need to be signed in office, this is where we would do so. Now, if Jamie has already completed all this documentation in her portal, uh, there will be a big blue check mark next to everything that she's already completed, just letting you know that you can go ahead and skip over it. Um, now, for your reference, we don't specialize in legal documentation. So if you already have all of these documents, we will walk you through how to plug it right into your own aesthetic record account. Now the last step here, um, after we sign our consent forms, is now Jamie has two different options with her consents. She can either sign every single consent form one by one, or when we capture her signature right on the iPad, she can check this box down below to just stamp that signature to every consent that we selected for her. 
Now this step is where we're going to tie in our photos. Now we can also take before and after videos as well, which is um, a hot commodity in the industry nowadays. But when I go to access my camera, this is going to show us our smart shadowing feature. Um, now for those of you who aren't familiar with smart shadowing, this is the last photo of Jamie that we took in the office. So this is pulling from her last procedure. Now, we can make this dimmer or we can make it heavier. You can tack on a little grid view here, but you would layer this with her if she's uh, with her face if she's standing up against a wall. Um, that way you're always getting really consistent before and afters. But I am going to upload a photo from my gallery and then I'm just going to use the template for the rest of these here. Now, once we're finished taking all of our photos, I'm just gonna take us to a preview screen where we're just previewing everything that we just went through. Now, right here where it says procedure number three, we can customize this to say, you know, maybe Botox first treatment. That way we're always staying really organized when we're looking back at previous procedures. Now, when we go to start this procedure, it's going to pull up all the photos that we just took of Jamie. Now, we know that she's coming in for some injectables today, so I'm just going to zoom in super close on her face here. And then once I pull up my inventory list, I'm just going to select the product that we are treating her with. So I'll select my Botox. And then from here, I'm double tapping my finger on the screen to add these in. And if you needed to change the dosage amount for maybe one injection point, you can adjust the units here up above or you can highlight over an entire area to increase or decrease. Now you can also use the draw tool. So this will allow you to free draw on the screen or if you wanna put a red arrow next to a place where she might have a bruise or something like that. And then in the top right here of this purple treatment summary tab, if you can remember when I was telling you about all things inventory, I was saying that you'll be tracking your stock through the app. And this is where we would do so. So when we add in our traceability, we're just selecting the lot number that we were working with. And if we used all of those units from that lot number, when we add this in here, it's going to deduct all of those units from our inventory. It's gonna give us a price associated with the treatment. And it's also going to stamp this lot number to the procedure. So that way, if you ever had a recall or an adverse reaction, you can run reports on your lot numbers, tracing it all the way back here to Jamie. Now adding in notes to this procedure will do so from the procedure that we just created by tapping on plus add notes. Now, if you prefer to do your charting on a computer, you can do this through the control center as well. Um, now adding in your procedure notes, you can free type on the screen or you can add in what we call our dot phrases. If you're not familiar with dot phrases, they're just pre-configured notes that you can create. So by tapping on the period symbol, you can use you know, any one of these that are already populated into your AR account or you can create your own. Now you can add or edit to this if needed, but once it's saved, it's stated in timestamped and you can also use your Surrey speech dictation down below here to just talk into the device and it's gonna populate that note for you. And viewing before and afters will also do so in the app as well. So we can compare either photo or videos. Today I'll just compare photos. Now from here, you can shuffle through the different procedures if you needed to compare you know, two specific procedures side by side. And you can also flip the iPad horizontally. That's gonna give you a really nice side by side comparison. And you can compare your treatment markings here as well, which is very convenient. Then if you were to take payment through aesthetic record, we'll access the checkout cart just by tapping on this take payment icon. And from here, we'll be able to see everything that we just logged on Jamie's photo is in the cart. Now, if you have a front desk that's taking payment, the provider last thing that you're going to do here is add in any adjustments to the invoice, and then you're gonna mark this as front desk checkout. That will automatically send this ticket up to the front desk and they can pick up right where you left off. But if you were just a provider going through this and you're taking payment in the room with the patient, um, if we needed to start sunscreen or we sold her a package, you can tap on anything here to add it to the cart. And in the top right, this promotions tab is where you can view any pre-configured discounts that you might have created. Um, a really great thing about applying these discounts is that you can run reports on them to almost forecast your future promotions. 
And here we have a view of the patient wallet, which is a really exclusive feature to a Cetic record. This is Jamie's personal bank, if you will. So we are tracking anything as far as dollar credits to e-gift cards, pre-purchase packages, BOGOs, treatment plans, ships, you name it. <laughs> um, so we can see that she has a pre-purchase package of Botox here. So if she wanted to redeem the units that we treated her with from her package, we can do so right here. And once the transaction is complete, it'll deduct the units that we used from that pre-purchase package. That way you're always getting up-to-date metrics. And if you are a practice that uses Aspire Rewards through Galderma, the best thing about the patient wallet in your case is that we are fully integrated with Aspire. We are the only system in the world who is, so you never have to leave a static record to do anything Aspire related. Um, as we can see here, she has $20 in coupons to be redeemed. We can apply that at checkout. And if you use Brilliant Distinctions, you can also um, these into or place these dollar credits into the patient's wallet as well. That way you're always getting accurate sales metrics. Now, when we go to check out, it's going to have us select a payment method. So we can take card, cash, dollar credits from the wallet, care credit, green sky, or a check. And then I'm going to share my control center screen with you. because there's a couple other things that I wanted to go over. One is our business insights tab. So this is where you're going to do all of your reporting. So here for sales specifically, you can see that you have access to your general sales reports, your payments and liabilities, and your membership reports if you implement monthly memberships in your practice. Um, a really good report to run just at the end of the day every day is sales summary. Now you can shuffle through the different dates here and then anything that's highlighted in blue, you can click into it and it will produce its own separate report. That way you can really see where those numbers are coming from. Now you can also run reports on your inventory, your appointments, your net promoter scores, but you can also run reports on your patients, which is a really popular feature inside of a static record. So you can run any one of these reports here and you can play around with these X and Y variables, but just for example, let's generate a birthday month report. So from here, we have this targeted patient report. Now you can download this to Excel, you can save it for later, or you can share this with any one of our integrated CRMs or marketing platforms like HubSpot, MailChimp, Constant Contact, Zoho. And from there, you can send them an email blast or put them in a campaign to get them back into the office. Now running reports on your net promoter scores is, um, as we know, very important. Um, so basically, you can create customizable surveys inside of your aesthetic record account to be sent maybe as a general satisfaction survey that's sent out after every single appointment, or maybe you want one sent specifically two weeks after every Botox appointment. And once your patients start to receive those surveys, you can generate reports based off of their feedback. Um, this one specifically is just an overview report, but we can break this down per the provider, per the clinic as a whole, or even for that specific service. Another thing that I wanted to show you here is the provider's room, which is a full electronic chart audit. Um, this is always reflecting in real time, so we can see that procedure that we just did for Jamie Jacobs. You can click into this procedure. You can uh, view your treatment markings, update your traceability, add or edit any notes if needed. And once you go to sign this, if you have a medical director that you need to send this to, you can send it directly to them. And every medical director in the account will have what we call as the MDs room. Now, the only difference between the provider's room and the MD's room is that the MD has the option to select all and bulk sign off on all the charts that you sent to them. And last thing that I want to go over here with you is two-way text messaging, which has become a very popular feature inside of Aesthetic Record in the COVID world that we're living in today. Um, but basically, any time that the system is sending out those automated appointment reminders or booking confirmations, your patients can text you back. It's all inside of our HIPAA compliant platform, so you're always protected in that regard. And I'm going to hop over to my other page.
Now let's talk about pricing, which is a very frequently asked question. So there are two different subscription plans to a static record. One is the essentials plan and another is the accelerator plan. Now the main difference between the two is that the accelerator plan is going to give you all of the bells and whistles. I personally always recommend the accelerator if you plan on using. Uh, before and after videos, you'll get the photo no matter what, but videos exclusively. Um, advanced KPI reporting, an employee time clock feature, integration with third party platforms, which would be your TouchMD, um, Zoho, MailChimp, Constant Contact, and this two way text messaging. So let's just say that you were on the accelerator plan because you need all of these features here. So the pricing in itself is on a per user basis. Now a user would be anyone who needs access to the system. For compliance purposes, everybody has to have a separate login. So if you had one user in your account, it would be $16 per month or $156 upfront per user per year. That's gonna give you about a 20% savings. Now, if you were to use the two-way text messaging, there is an additional $5 a month um, just for the account as a whole because um, you're like renting out the phone number. And then if you were to take payment with Aesthetic Record, there is a $10 monthly POS Connect charge, which is a service charge with fraud protection and security, et cetera, that comes from our merchant. Um, and then there's also a one-time $199 startup fee. And that's going to go towards all of your onboarding training sessions, our 24 seven live chat support and all of our help centers. And in regards to onboarding, so we are here for you every single step of the way. So not only do we have micro learning videos which are pre-recorded that you can use just to get a leg up on your live training sessions, but we'll meet through Zoom once you go through all of your onboarding to take you through all of these um, different training sessions. It'll be one-on-one -on -one with an AR rep in that field. And if you have questions on this, feel free to use that Q&A box and we will get all of your questions answered for you.